Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are Ross, Laura, Joshua, and Noah. And on a normal day, we're sailing around the Greek islands, documenting our travels along the way. Leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be right there, close to the sun, close to the sun. Sun. Morning guys, I'm just making a coffee. I'm using my classic Aerogress, if you know you know, and it's around 6am. The sun is not up yet, thankfully, and we are going to head out super early because it just gets so stiflingly hot in the day at the moment that we try and get basically anything active done really, really early. We're in the port of Lefkada at the moment because we had a lovely motor up here a couple of days ago and we're just waiting for an engine part to come in in Preveza. Whether we think we're gonna get a car or maybe we'll also get a motorbike up there, but we've got a really important engine part coming, which we need to fix a hold in the exhaust. The engine saga continues. Are you talking about Minecraft? Come on, everybody up. I think there's only parents out there um, who have children who love Minecraft as much and talk about it as much as my boys. And that doesn't just include the little boys because the big boys getting pretty obsessed with it as well. But <laughs> I spend probably a good two hours of my day feeling like I don't understand what on earth is going on because they're talking gobbledygook. Anyway, we're going to do some yoga. has been struggling with the heat quite a bit, hence the umbrella, which I like to take the mick out of there for. Which is why we were up at six o'clock this morning. It's about seven o'clock now. And we're doing this excursion already. But I'm wanted here. Lady for help. <laughs> a nice lady for help. Bet she'd be appreciated. Oh yeah. Why don't we just take the high field? How does the high field get you fit? I'm not trying to get fit. If it wasn't for me, you'd be the size of a house. You'd sit on the boat all day and drink beer and do nothing. Oh, you Or actually, you'd probably sail. That's you're like talking about my heaven now. <laughs> I don't like that umbrella though. You can get there when you retire. So these guys are all starting to queue up because in five minutes, the bridge is going to open. We might be there in time as well. It's cool, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's like a boat, really, isn't it? So this, Noah, is what connects Left Carter to the mainland. And off they go. Noah just asked a very valid question. You said, how long does it stay open for? We don't know, do we? But we'll find out. Now being open seven minutes. I reckon it's gonna be 10 minutes. Shut again. I reckon I reckon it will open when all the boats have gone past. Maybe, or it might be just a time thing, I don't know. We'll see, it's hot already. Just in time, guys, the bridge is opening. The bridge is opening.
this is Ayamavra Castle. It was built in the 14th century by the Sicilians. It was actually constructed as protection for the island from pirates. It's been really well preserved even to this day. And here we have the Carter Lighthouse. Noah, oh, cookies for breakfast. Oh, can I have some? Mm. What do you say, Noah? Thank you. Oh, sorry. See, I'm not always all about the health. Well, it must be a pretty religious place because not only have we been told to cover up, fair enough, but Ross has also been told to not drone. No, I love dark rooms. Look. Did you know, boys, that this is actually haunted? And when you're not looking, that door slams shut and locks you in here for a whole day. That was cool. It really was. Very beautiful. And the bridge has just opened again. So this here is a bit of a memory for Daddy. Do you know why? Because why? over there, you see those windmills? That is the first place Polly touched Greece. We dropped anchor there. Yeah. And that was the first place we anchored coming from Sicily. Then the adventure began. So we've done a full loop around Greece. Wow. Where next? Comment below where you think we should go next, guys. They want to jog back. They're crazy. I like them. They're crazy. Good morning, guys. It's a glorious sunny day today, and I have some online work to do. The boys are settled. Cats are settled, but Ross is about to make an absolute racket because he's fixing the engine elbow today. So I'm going to take myself off, have a little wander, and find a nice, cozy little cafe. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Guys, I've walked all the way around the port, all the way around the beautiful lake, and now I've ended up here at Lefkada Marina because I've heard that Porto Cafe here is supposed to be really great for getting work done and just chilling out. So, yeah, back where the boats are. Guys, Ross is always really strict with me when it comes to uploading our content in public places, so we always use VPN. And actually, we are using Surfshark VPN, who have kindly sponsored this episode, and that goes a long way towards supporting our video productions. If you don't already know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and this helps to keep our internet connection private through encryption and it prevents hackers or other people like the government and other corporations from seeing our personal information. Besides staying safe online, there are many other perks to virtual private networks, and especially with Surfshark VPN. By using the smartphone app or the web extension on internet browsers, we can also access any block sites like video streaming by changing our IP address and server location to one of over 100 countries. 
It was only yesterday, actually, Ross and Noah were watching a film and it was the latest movie and it was blocked here in Greece normally, but because of our VPN, they were able to watch it without any problems. In some countries, actually, even YouTube is blocked, so Surfshark would be a really great workaround for you in that case. Also, top tip, we actually use this feature to score cheaper flight deals. If you're anything like us, we have so many devices in our family and so you can rest assured Surfshark has your back with unlimited devices for just one subscription. If you'd like to try out Surfshark risk-free and with a 30-day money-back guarantee, then you can head over to surfshark.com forward slash hollyblue and get an extra four months. I don't know what it is when I do jobs, but I end up following the boat round, changing like part after part after part. And this is just a classic example where one exhaust elbow turns into most of the fittings around it. <laughs> but do a job, you should do it properly. So I think we are all done. Um, I want to obviously run the engine and check it all. My only concerns are how good that gasket is without any silicon, because I did it dry. That's between the stainless steel elbow and the aluminium housing. And the other thing I'm slightly concerned about is the coolant levels. So I'm going to check the levels there. I've got some, so I'll just top it up again. So two things to check after I've started the engine for a little while. I'm going to leave it a couple hours now for the thread lock to properly go off. I should leave it overnight, but we have to be off this pontoon tomorrow morning. So I don't want to have any problems tomorrow. We're leaving Lefkast today. It's been a really nice short stop here. It's been lovely. I've really enjoyed poodling my way through the back streets of the old town having a glass of wine in the square, nosing around, visiting the castle. It's a really nice place to visit actually. I wouldn't say we would spend a heap amount of time here because there's not loads of kids to do, but there is a good park and we've been there many a time. And for what time we have been here, we've really enjoyed it. So time to go back to the beach. Hello, my precious. Hello, hello, my precious boy. Hello, how are you? We haven't seen you for a while, have we, Ronnie Moo? Laura? Yep. I just spoke to the lady in the office and she said that there's going to be a storm tonight, which we knew, but it's going to blow pretty hard between nine and three in the morning. What force? About five. Ooh, it's not, not too major, but it could be even blusterier, more gusty. So, I'm thinking we should go to Nidri or go to Tranquil Bay where we went before. 
We're going to hide in that little bay. Just overnight. And it's going to be raining tomorrow, so it's not going to be too hot. Then we can go back out on the beach. Okie dokie. There would have been a time when that actually would have freaked me out a little bit, but I'm quite excited about a thunderstorm. I really like the emotion in the ocean and the sky and the colours you get and stuff like that. So as long as we're somewhere safe, we know Tranquil Bay, you could be in there in a medicane and you'd be absolutely fine. So yeah, we're going hide. We've got one other thing to keep an eye on. What's that? that? We've just changed the exhaust cell back and it's our first proper run with it. Another good thing about Tranquil Bay is it is very close to Chandlery's ports all that kind of stuff so if we did have a problem with the engine we're so close to everything that it would be easy to sort out sorry by the way josh is downstairs practicing he's quite good he's very good i'm pretty good well done josh we've been trying to involve the boys as much as possible recently in sailing and everything we do because they're at an age now where they're starting to really be more aware of their environment and the boat and open to higher levels of learning. So we've got sailing terms, which is our latest homeschool session. And they're learning all about the parts of the boat at the moment and just doing little things here and there, which give them a bit of responsibility. Hi guys, it's a bit late now, we are back. We left the port, motored down here, back to Nidri, and we've actually been out for dinner, so we haven't spoken to you in a little while. But we've all got nice full tummies now. Anyway, this is what is coming. So much for the storm. Once again, Tranquil Bay lives up to its name. I'm up at the north part of the beach here definitely much better than the south. Just down there, it's a lot windier. Even though all the yachts are down the south, I think I'm going to suggest to Laura that we hang here in the north, because north winds for the next four or five days, so it makes sense to me. Laura. It's really windy, eh? It is. It's surprisingly windy Sorry. just around that corner. Can you see those little white horses over there? Yeah. I'm in two minds to be honest because in this bay, it's usually absolutely sweltering hot because it's just zero wind. But we've got a dip in the temperatures and it's breezy enough to get a blow from the bay. See, for me, I, I'm not too worried about going to shore because we've got the high field. But, um, but I just don't like the close proximity of all these boats. I mean, it was good yesterday, but to be honest, we could have been over there yesterday. Really? And um, yesterday, when we got back from eating out, I found a rope wrapped around our pole pit. I was like, Where, where's this rope come from? Anyway, a, a guy came over to me, he's a nice guy, and he was very honest, but he said, I'm really sorry, but our boat hit you hit your boat yesterday <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got our rope caught on your pole pit so we just let it go so it just shows here with this many boats with high winds 
and it's mud. Someone's anchor is going to slip at some point and it's inevitable that at some point a boat will crash into another boat. I personally would prefer to go out over there. It's quite funny because what happened yesterday was like the British equivalent of when someone pings your car and actually bothers to tell you or leaves a note on your windscreen, mm. uh, which was really, really nice actually. It was really sweet that he came over and actually told us. It's like the warning signs you get when you're sailing, you get like a little, this could happen. And then if you don't like heed it, it really usually does happen. Um, and I don't know if Ross has filmed any of the boats that are around us, but some of them are like literally feet have, away from yeah, each other. Yeah. It's a bit silly. And um, because people are coming and going so much, they're just dropping anchor willy nilly all over the place, not really thinking about their radius. No. So I'm with you, Ross, safety first. And you don't like wearing clothes, do you? That is a very good point. <laughs> Winning okay. factor. All the boats over there are anchored in the south. So where we're going in the sheltered bit in the north, we'll be on our own. Yay, birthday suits all day. <laughs> Comment below guys, should we just stay here where it's nice and calm, but there's loads of people around, we've got to keep our clothes on, or should we go over there where there's no one and get me? Well, as you can probably tell, the sound of the engine, we're going. Going with our guts. It's lucky we had our fenders out because he came alongside us as well. Like mm -hmm. and, um, I just left them out from the marina because um, they tranquil bay. If in doubt, leave them out. But look at these guys over here, they're so close. We're already heading closer and closer to the so close as we're filling the anchor up. My turn. Because our batteries are really low and the windlass is just over a kilowatt to use, we're going to let gravity drop our anchor. We're dropping in about 20 metres today, so we're going to use about 80 metres of chain. Mm. So we're going to do what's called a fast drop. I don't normally like it because the chain can get tangled, but I've just flailed with it, so I'm happy today. Not a gypsy wheel? No, the gypsy wheel is what holds the chain. Ah. And there's like a, a nut, which I can't remember what it's called. But you undo that slowly, it's a bit like a clutch. You can control it by tightening it and speed. We need to give you a lesson on sailing terminology, Ross. Captain Ross. almost forgot the lemon juice. Can't forget the lemon juice. It's so cool now because of this storm that um, we're all chilled. Fine to even come within half a metre of each other without overheating. Even Ronnie. Ronnie! <laughs> Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need 